Sing Sing, directed by Greg Quadar and starring Coleman Domingo, is a captivating drama set within the walls of Sing Sing Prison. The film follows a group of inmates who form a theatre troupe led by the charismatic and complex John Divine G. Whitfield, played by Domingo. As they prepare for an upcoming performance, they find solace, camaraderie, and even redemption in the creative process while grappling with their past mistakes and uncertain futures. Prison movies resonate so deeply with audiences because they often explore the fundamental human themes of confinement and freedom, guilt and redemption, and the quest for meaning in the face of harsh realities. Sing Sing adds to this lineage by offering a unique blend of humour, raw emotion and social commentary, making it a compelling exploration of the human spirit against the backdrop of incarceration. So I appreciate when I came out of the cinema, my initial feeling was a little bit mid, a little bit underwhelming, despite the fact knowing that there was a really good movie in here. I've taken two days now to reflect on this movie and really let it simmer with me. And I do think it's quite brilliant for the reasons I'm about to share. We are in the home straight. We are nearly at 50,000 subscribers. I cannot thank you all enough for that. So please don't hesitate. Hit that subscribe button. It's free. It helps me so much to keep bringing you the content that I think you're enjoying. Let's get back to the video. Coleman Domingo's performance as John Divine G. Whitfield in Sing Sing is nothing short of magnetic. Domingo brings a raw, visceral energy to the role capturing the complexity of a man who is both a mentor and a troubled soul seeking his own form of redemption. His portrayal is led with intensity, vulnerability and a quiet wisdom that gives the character depth and authenticity. The film benefits immensely from Domingo's ability to convey a wide range of emotions. His charisma commands attention, yet he can turn on a dime to reveal the emotional scars that lie beneath the surface. This duality makes his performance so compelling as he embodies a man wrestling with his past while striving to create something meaningful within the confines of the prison walls. The ensemble cast around Domingo adds further depth to the narrative. Each character from the hardened inmates to the weary but hopeful prison staff brings their own backstory and emotional baggage to the table creating a tapestry of lives intersecting in the most unlikely of places. Actors like Paul Ratchie, known for his Oscar-nominated role in Sound of Metal, and Clarence Macklin, who plays a fellow inmate with a soft-spoken intensity, deliver performances that are as rich in nuance as they are in emotion. The chemistry between Domingo and the fellow, fellow cast members is palpable. And all of this combined leads an authenticity to the group's both the group's struggles and triumphs throughout the movie. The success of Sing Sing lies not only in its narrative, but in its dedication to authenticity. Many of the actors are former inmates themselves, which brings a raw and lived-in feel to their performances. This authenticity creates a unique blend of storytelling that feels both deeply personal and universally relatable, giving voice to those often forgotten by society. This movie is a testament to the power of effective direction and cinematography to capture the human experience. The film employs a restrained yet intimate approach that amplifies its emotional impact. Quidar's direction is marked by a focus on close-ups and personal space, immersing the audience into the confined world of the prison while also conveying the internal worlds of its characters. His decision to utilize handheld cameras and natural lighting contributes to a sense of immediacy and realism, creating raw, almost documentary-like feel that heightens the authenticity of the narrative. Now you know I'm a big fan of cinematography and think it's one of the most undersung aspects of film commentary. But here cinematographer Andres Caru's work complements Greg Quadar's vision and it all works beautifully in a perfect storm. Using light and shadow to capture the paradoxical environment of the prison, a place where darkness and hope both coexist. The tight framing often emphasizes the physical confinement of the characters, while subtly exploring the emotional and psychological landscapes they inhabit. In particular, Karu's use of lighting reflects the dualities present in Sing Sing. The harsh fluorescent lights of the prison 
contrast with the warmer, softer hues during moments of introspection and connection among the inmates. These visual choices contribute significantly to the film's overall mood, balancing stark realism with poetic visual style that underscores its themes of resilience and redemption. The script carefully balances naturalistic speech with moments of profound introspection, reflecting the diverse voices of its characters. There's a raw honesty to the exchanges, whether intense confrontations or moments of quiet reflection that captures the complexities of life behind bars. The dialogue often carries an underlying poetry filled with humor, pain and hope, which deepens our understanding of the inmates' experiences and their yearning for freedom, both physical and spiritual. The movie is rich with themes that explore the human condition within the microcosm of prison life. At its core, the film delves into the concepts of redemption and the possibility of personal transformation, even in the most confining circumstances. The story portrays how art, camaraderie, and shared experiences can become a lifeline, offering hope and a sense of purpose amidst the bleakness of incarceration. Themes of systemic injustice and the need for empathy emerge as we see the characters grappling with their past choices while yearning for dignity and understanding. The film also examines the thin line between confinement and freedom, suggesting that true liberation is found in self-discovery and human connection rather than mere physical release. These themes really resonate deeply and they challenge audiences, specifically challenging audiences to reconsider their perceptions of morality and justice. Sing Sing offers a nuanced exploration of the justice system and its inherent flaws by using the theatre group as a powerful metaphor for reclaiming humanity and identity within an oppressive environment. The group's performances reveal the complexities of prison life, challenging the perception of inmates as mere products of their crimes. Through acting, the prisoners confront their pasts and redefine their sense of self, illustrating the restorative potential of creative expression. The theatre becomes a space for empathy and introspection, critiquing a system that often dehumanizes those it aims to rehabilitate which for me I find beautiful because it suggests that redemption lies in human connection as well as self-reflection. In conclusion, Sing Sing is a compelling and humanizing portrait of life within the prison walls. By exploring the transformative power of theatre, the film challenges the rigid structure of the justice system, offering a layered commentary of identity, redemption and the human spirit's resilience. Through compelling performances, especially from Coleman Domingo, the film navigates the nuances of hope amidst despair, showing how creative expression becomes a lifeline for those society often deems lost. The film's potent dialogue, combined with its themes of camaraderie and self-discovery, remind us that beneath the harsh labels and preconceived notions, there are individuals with stories worth telling. Sing Sing ultimately succeeds not just as a prison drama, but as a meditation on the power of art to reclaim one's humanity, urging us to look beyond the bars and into the hearts of those confined within. It's a testament to the enduring spirit of those who seek freedom, not just for the body, but for the soul. And it's one of those rare movies that you genuinely do feel privileged to have watched and demands that you give it time to simmer, to marinade, and to have a moment of deeper reflection on what it all means. And I'm glad I gave it time. And I want to know what you guys think now. What did you think of Sing Sing? Are you fans of the movie? Did you give it time? What was your instant reaction to it? What do you think of Coleman Domingo? Leave all your thoughts and your comments down below. I want to hear from you guys. There is a subscribe button right here. Another video for you guys to watch up here. Go ahead and do all that goodness. And I'll see you very soon right here on the Silver Screen. Dudes, bye for now.